Hello everyone, I am Vectromat, welcome to the channel, hope you're all doing well, let's get right into the video. So, uh, none of what I'm saying in this video has been, at least the main point in this video, um, hasn't been confirmed by any source, we don't know if Wally is coming back or not, um, this is just theories that I'm going over that I want to talk about, that I would hope would happen this season, we don't know, but... Just cleared out of the way. Um, I would hope Wally would return season 8. He was... I think they were trying to get him back from 7. But because of COVID, they just couldn't. It was hard for them to bring him in. When I think he was off doing their show in another state. So, to get him to Canada, where they shoot, it, it would be a two-week uh, quarantine. And they're already filming that. Even if they could plan to head on that. He was doing another show, and it's not like he could just walk away from that show when he's already filmed so much for that show. So, it, it wouldn't have worked out anyways for him as an actor. It might have worked out great for us, but not for, you know, whatever show he was filming. Um, or even himself, because he probably would have been fired or, you know, whatever. So, it, it would have been a big deal. And so, while it would have made sense to fly with in scene 7, he wasn't. I would hope he's in season 8. Um, from what we've seen so far, what you're seeing on screen right now, season 8, from what we've seen so far, is basically very comic accurate with us getting the gold boots on The Flash. Um, the very comic accurate Ray, or Ryan Choi, the Atom, um, and the reverse Flash suits. If Wally comes back, I wouldn't be surprised if we get a comic accurate Wally West, like the one you're seeing on screen right now. Which I'm pretty sure it's New 52. I could be wrong. I'm pretty sure I'm wrong on that one. But you know what I mean. This cuts to you seeing on screen right now. It would be really nice to see this one on screen. Especially since it's been suggested so many times. That we get Wally in this silver red suit. It's honestly one of my favorite Wally West suits. Cause I think he's only had two. And this is... I, I love the silver one more than the yellow one. But it would be nice to see a live action... Uh, Wally of that suit. I know people are saying they want the redhead Wally, which is the original Wally before he, you know, um, if you know the comics, you know what I'm talking about from the Earth and all that, whatever. You know what I'm talking about. That Wally, I don't know if they would go down that route, but if they're going to bring in the multiverse again, which might be happening, who knows, then... It very well could be a possibility, and I wouldn't mind it if it was. Um, but, you know, I wouldn't get your hopes up on Redhead Wally, but I would get your hopes up for Wally coming back in Season 8, maybe a new suit. Again, especially since what we've seen so far is very comic accurate with the Flash and the Gold Boots, Reverse Flash, and Adam suits all being updated to basically comic accurate, literally comic accurate, straight out of the comics. Um, you know, and I didn't realize this till I was preparing for this video. The gold boots on the Flash are literally detailed right out of the comic book. I didn't realize that, but if you look closely, probably not the picture I put up, but it, little parts of it. But if you find a really good picture of the Flash gold boots in the comics. It's very detailed, just like it was on set from that one set photo. What I mean by that is they're very identical, which is very rare to send a CW show. Um, and while this suit isn't entirely comic accurate, minus the boots now, hopefully they stick. I would hope they would. Um, if they don't stick, then you know Eric Wall is going to get a lot of hate for that. But, um... I mean, we're looking at the Reverse Flash suit, we're looking at the Atom suit. The Atom suit, out of those three things, is literally right out of the comics. Copied right from the comics. The Reverse Flash suit, I think, had some red going throughout the suit. Um, which the one on set didn't. Um, just like little details that the suits need. Like, you, you know, the Flash comic suit has more yellow on the helmet. Our Barry's one doesn't. So, it's, it's just the little details that they really want to go full comic accurate. These suits need a lot of upgrading. And we're not obviously going to get that probably anytime soon. So, while we're getting parts of the suit comic accurate, 
at least for the Flash, we aren't getting full-on comic book accurate suits for the Flash. Reverse Flash, again, it's the same thing. There's more detail that can be added to make it full-on comic accurate, but it's not going to be full comic accurate until they add those small details. Um, and uh, the Adam suit, like I said already, right out of the comics. Like you're seeing on screen right now, you can see the reverse flash, at least for his hands. It was right around like the end, the gloves, like the flashes is with yellow. Um, but that's not on set. It, it's just those little, and I'm not trying to nitpick, but it's just those little details on the suits that really do make a difference whether it's comic accurate or not. Again, there are parts that are, but there are majority parts that aren't. And it's one of those things that you can call it comic accurate, but I, a lot of us really won't be satisfied with it until we get a full-on comic accurate suit like the item one that we got. Just because of the fact that they're not going to do it. <laughs> I mean, maybe season eight, or, well, not season eight, season nine, we would get a new suit, and I would hope it would be more like the comics, um, with more yellow on the helmet, and just more yellow detail throughout the whole suit, having the gold boots and all of that. That would be nice to see. Um, and again, with Wally, you know, I really, truly wouldn't be surprised if we get Wally in his Silver Age suit. I generally wouldn't be surprised if we get that this season. If not one season in the future. Um, and, you know, this crossover, as I keep on saying, if you haven't watched The Flash in a while, this is a time where you can come back and enjoy The Flash at least for the first five, five episodes of the season. You might not enjoy it for the whole season, but at least for the first five of season eight, you're definitely going to love it every possible way. I mean, just from what we've seen, I'm already loving this crossover. So, again, if you haven't watched The Flash in a while, this is a time where you can come back and enjoy it. So, yeah. Um, I've done several videos over the Armageddon crossover, everything we know about it. Um, so, if you want to go watch those videos, there's a whole playlist on my channel. Um, it's I think it's titled Armageddon crossover. There's, I think, eight, I think nine now videos, including this one. In that playlist, if you want to go watch all the news, all the cast members that were leaked. Well, not really leaked, but we were told. And then some that we weren't told that are now there. Um, you know, you can go watch those videos. Um, one of the things I do want to mention, um, as I mentioned in another video, not related to our game crossover, is that um, Bart was, or Jordan Fisher plays Bart Allen, okay, Impulse. Um, it's back on the Flash set, apparently. Um, he's not supposed to be in the crossover. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> um, I don't know what episode they're on. I think they're on 804, 805. They're nearing the end of the crossover. Um, because I think they're supposed to be done in about a month, under a month, because John Lee should be coming in. This could just be a two-week quarantine. I think Ken is still doing that. I would be really surprised if they weren't. Um, so he might just be in Vancouver for The Flash, but not actually shooting yet. And until we see him on set shooting, I I'm not going to say he's in the crossover. I don't think he is. I would be really surprised if he was, because then, you know, they would need excess, and she hasn't been seen on set. So... If they bring in Bard, it's going to be XS. And again, both, uh, at least XS, haven't been seen on set. So, don't expect Bart to be in the crossover. Because if he is, we're looking at XS being the crossover. And just for once, this show, I would like not to have XS and Bart in the crossover. <laughs> or, like, a season would be great. But, you know, here we are. Um, not saying I don't like Nora and Bart. But just to, you know, get away from that part of the show would be great. Because um, since, like, what, season four, season five, we've been dealing with these kids, at least Nora. And then season seven brought in Bart. Well, probably Crisis brought in Bart. But you know what I mean. It's just, yeah, <laughs> we can get away from that for a little bit would be great. Five episodes would be great. 
I don't care after, but this cause silver, leave them out of it. <laughs> you know, I'll just leave the kids out of it. Let Barry and Team Flash and whoever the hell else is coming deal with it. You know, don't bring in Bar and Excess. That'd be great. Um, I don't know if it's confirmed that the Speed Force will be coming back in Season 8 at all. I don't know. Um, I would be really surprised if she didn't, because she's been almost every season. So, you know, who knows? Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's everything I want to go over. Um, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button down below. It's guy for new. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Have a good night. Stay safe. See you guys for the next video. Bye, guys.